is uh, being presented by Dr. Kimura from the Kyoto University Hospital in Kyoto, Japan. It's a one-year outcome randomized evaluation of two drug-eluting stents, the uh, RESET trial. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, RESET trial is a prospective multi-center randomized open-level trial evaluating non-inferiority of evarimus eluting stent uh, relative to serolimus eluting stent. Uh, from uh, February to July last year, uh, 3,206 patients were enrolled from 100 Japanese centers. Uh, this represented 34% of 9,534 9, patients who underwent PCI with drug eluting stent during study period. Uh, this trial is the all-commerce trial without any uh, exclusion criteria. Uh, patients scheduled for PCI with drug eluting stents were uh, to be enrolled, uh, excluding nine patients uh, who withdrew consent. Uh, ITT population consisted of 3,197 patients. Uh, EES group, uh, 1,597 patients. SES group, uh, 1,600 patients. Uh, this is the uh, largest ever conducted trial comparing uh, Evarolimus eluting stent uh, versus Sirolimus eluting stent. One year clinical follow-up was completed uh, in 98.4% of patients. Angiographic substudy included 571 patients, uh, 8 to 12 months angiographic follow-up was uh, performed in 90% of patients. The primary endpoint of the study is the uh, target region revascularization evaluated at one year. We found no inferiority of uh, Evarolimus eluting stent relative to uh, Sirolimus eluting stent. One year, cumulative incidence of one year, uh, TLR rate was 4.3% uh, for the Evarolimus group and 5.0% for the Sirolimus group. Regarding the superiority analysis, uh, there was no significant difference between the two types of stent. Hazard ratio was 0.85. We conducted pre-specified subgroup analysis for target region revascularization, comparing Evarolimus eluting stent uh, with Sirolimus eluting stent. Among the subgroups examined, in, in the subset of patients with uh, diabetes treated with insulin, use of Evarolimus eluting stent was associated with significantly lower risk of target region revascularization. Hazard ratio was 0.42. We also found a trend favoring Evarolimus eluting stent in patients who underwent multi vessel PCI. Regarding the uh, primary angiographic endpoint, in segment rate loss uh, was uh, 0.07 millimeter uh, for the Evarolimus eluting stent and 0.03 millimeter uh, for the Sirolimus eluting stent. We found significant no inferiority of Evarolimus eluting stent relative to Sirolimus eluting stent. <laughs> Instant rate loss was also uh, very similar, 0.16 millimeter for Evarolimus eluting stent and 0.14 millimeter for Sirolimus eluting stent. So, in conclusion, in this large scale randomized control trial comparing Evarolimus eluting stent with Sirolimus eluting stent, EES was demonstrated to be non-inferior to SES with respect to target region revascularization rate at one year and angiographic in-segment rate loss at 8 to 12 months. One year clinical outcome after both Evarolimus eluting and Sirolimus eluting use, stent use was excellent with low rate of target region revascularization and very low rate of stent thrombosis. Longer term follow-up is important to address whether EES could positively affect the late adverse events beyond one year reported after SES implantation, such as late resinosis and very late stent thrombosis. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, questions uh, over here? Hi, Shelley Wood with theheart.org. I'm not quite sure why um, 
what is new in this study. I sort of feel like I, I covered this study in a different form a couple years ago. Why, why conduct this comparison at this time? Uh, actually, the, uh, the first report comparing uh, uh, Evaluimus eluting stent with Sirolimus eluting stent was reported last year, TCT, uh, by the uh, Denmark group, so Nassold. Uh, actually, the uh, Evaluimus eluting stent was approved in Japan last year, uh, February. So we started uh, at the time of launch of this new stent to compare the uh, uh, standard care stent at the time of uh, ES launch, uh, Sirolimus eluting and also, I should mention that the uh, serolimus eluting stent is, has already left the uh, coronary drug eluting stent arena, uh, but uh, it, it was the uh, most widely used stent and the most extensively studied stent. And so, we, uh, the result of the uh, SES should be the benchmark for the current and the future generation drug eluting stent. And so, we should be uh, very careful to look at the uh, long term follow up data. Question over here on the. Uh, doctor, are there any uh, factors among Japanese that would change the performance of the stem? Uh, any difference uh, from the uh, technical point of view? Uh, uh, the use of intravascular ultrasound was 81%, uh, uh, extremely high. Uh, so, uh, generally speaking, uh, Japanese physicians are uh, very meticulous in pricing stent. Uh, like but the, uh, uh, I think uh, it doesn't uh, affect the uh, outcome uh, uh, so much. Next, yes. From Medical Tribune, Japan. I want to ask about the Kaplan Meyer uh, curve. Uh, at the first, it, uh, two, two arms are uh, uh, totally same, but after that, uh, the something uh, I can see the differences. How do you expect this? Uh, actually, uh, uh, very small difference statistically, uh, not significant, with the inclusion of 3,200 patients. So I couldn't tell you nothing about the, uh, this small difference. But the uh, patients enrolled in this trial is actually not so high risk patients, uh, despite the uh, trial design of all comer. Uh, so uh, we found a significant difference uh, uh, in insulin treated uh, diabetic patients who is the uh, uh, most uh, highest risk uh, subset for stenosis. So we might find a uh, uh, difference in complex region, but the uh, uh, interpretation of the subgroup analysis should be very careful. Um, the uh, design with uh, dual antiplatelet therapy, was it for what period of time in both arms? Uh, of the actually, center? it was left uh, to the uh, discretion of the individual participating center, but actually we did look at the uh, percentage of patients who continued dual antiplatelet therapy as a la last contact. It was uh, more than 85%. So most of the patients are uh, very compliant uh, to the uh, dual antiplatelet therapy until one year follow-up. For one year? Yeah. So, do you know generally in Japan would uh, it be withdrawn after a year? Uh, actually, the, this is the most most recent data for, uh, from Japan. So I think the, in the Japanese uh, real world practice, uh, more than 80, uh, 85 percent of patients uh, dual antiplatelet therapy is continued at least up, up to one year. One, up to one year, and um, could you? Tell us specifically what the stent thrombosis rates were in the uh, Actually, we did, uh, I didn't mention about the stent thrombosis rate. It was 0.38% uh, uh, for the uh, Evarolimus eluting stent and 0.39% uh, uh, for EES and 0.38% for SES uh, by ARC definite or probable stent thrombosis. That's cumulative to one year? Yes. And. Uh, <clears throat> I realize that this wasn't the case when you designed the study, but um, the at least, and I don't know if this is true in Japan, but um, in the United States, uh, the serolimus eluting stent is off of the market or about yeah. to go off the market. So I'm wondering, um, and it kind of seems like the interventionalist community has kind of already made a decision that the everolimus eluting stent is a better choice than the serolimus. So. Where do you see as the significance of these findings compared you know, in relation to uh, actual practice? Uh, actually, it is the uh, uh, biggest limitation. It was a very unexpected thing uh, uh, for the uh, serum eluting stent to leave the market. Uh, so uh, this study result uh, uh, does not guide the pre clinical practice. Uh, doesn't guide. I I'm sorry, I didn't quite. 
catch that. So you're saying that you thought it was surprising that Sorolla and Mr. Looting Sense were withdrawn from the market? Uh, it was a very unexpected finding for, uh, thing for me for you. Uh, because the uh, uh, Cordis company uh, has been the pioneer of this in this field, so uh, it was very une unexpected. But nonetheless, the fact that it isn't even an option anymore, so do you think that these findings do have some kind of actual practical relevance? Uh, no. No, but the, uh, but the, uh, uh, probably Sironimus uh, uh, will uh, lose uh, some patent, uh, so uh, some other Sironimus editing stand would be available in other companies. So uh, in those cases, uh, maybe uh, uh, pract uh, this trial result may be uh, of practical value. Uh, Bruce, sorry. do you want to identify yourself, Bruce? Oh, Mitchell Zola from Cardiology News. Can I ask one more question? I, sure. I don't Go know ahead. if anybody There's nobody else. else. So uh, you're an interventionist. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, Quickly. Then, have a mic? I just have a quick question. Oh, sure. <clears throat> did you define? Uh, sorry. <clears throat> did you define target lesion revascularization? Was it ischemia driven or was it? Uh, actually, we uh, included all the uh, target lesion revascularization. We adjudicated the TL, uh, TLR, TVR by the uh, angiographic evaluation by the core angiographic laboratory. And uh, also, uh, we evaluated the clinically driven target lesion revascularization. It was 3.0% for EES, 3.9% uh, for SES. So uh, the result uh, uh, seems to be very similar to the uh, overall TLR outcome. We have 30 seconds more, Mitch. <laughs> um, in your own practice, which kind of stent do you use? Uh, I prefer uh, Ebrolimus eluting stent currently, but we are uh, now conducting another trial comparing the Biolimus eluting stent with Ebrolimus eluting stent. So almost all of the pa my patients are randomized to the, uh, this new trial. Thank you, Dr. Kimura. And uh, we move now to the last presentation.